Salute to my good guys, salute to my righteous naga, salute to my upcoming princes and existing kings. It's your brother DZ Level Up with another one. Hope y'all fellas are doing good. Hope y'all fellas are leveling up. Hope y'all fellas are achieving, succeeding. And y'all fellas is breathing all of this good, righteous air from the most high God's Elohim. Ayo, hey, man. Let's dive into it. Story time. Ayo. Hey, so this must have been like maybe probably like December 2017. November, December 2017, around that time. And, um, you know, I ended up getting out of a uh, relationship. Me and my, my ex, we ended up parting ways. And, um, you know, I ended up moving into a, uh, a Airbnb, a one bedroom Airbnb at that, bruh. I tell you, this joint was tiny. Literally, it was just a bed. And um, yeah, just a bed <laughs> in the closet, little, little closet, you know, but, um, you know, moved up in there. You know, still was working and grinding, but you know, as men, we don't really need much at all. We damn sure don't need a super duper expensive apartment that you're not going to spend most of your time in, really just to lay your head down. So I was like, all right, bump it. Let me get this Airbnb, stack up some bread, you know, hustle. But at that time, um, I had come across some information. One of um, these self-improvement um, blogs that, you know, you might call it the man Manosphere, quote, unquote, white manosphere anyway the um the dude's blog he was a pretty big time blogger some years ago before he uh eventually left the whole internet scene after you know covid pop popped off probably a little bit before that um the blog was called bold and determined and the author was um nick pride aka i think uh i said victor pride did I say Nick or Victor? Victor Pride, but his real name is Nick Kelly. So anyway, came across uh, Vic's blog post and he had a uh, program called 30 Days of Discipline. And, um, you know, I ended up buying that, that program. You know, it was like a PDF, maybe for like, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. But um, it was very uh, pivotal in leveling up to the, to the man that you're seeing right now that was the beginning and that 30 days of discipline program basically said you will wake up every day 30 days mind you you wake up every day at 5 a.m you will not eat any snacks you only have full meals breakfast lunch dinner no snacks you will also not use any internet pornography none of that um another one was um you will go to maybe it was go to the gym or exercise i can't remember but there must have been no more than like maybe seven or so things that you must do for 30 days in a row but those three in particular i remember those because i mean think about it like this bro <laughs> Are we addicted to food? Yes. Are we addicted to, not you and me, I'm talking about our previous selves and other people who are not on it, like how we are, that are, you know, we're addicted to food, you know, fast foods, cravings and all of that, was addicted to unnatural, you know, technological stimulation of looking at digital cheeks and digital bitties. <laughs> I was about to say something rated R, but yeah. Um, and also, um, you know, addicted to just comfort and, uh, you know, not, uh, waking up early. And actually, I think the, the fourth one might have been, um, taking cold showers too. Maybe. I think so. Cause that was like my first introduction to cold showers. Yeah. It was through, through, through the 30 days of discipline. So anyway, um, I remember, man, I remember I don't, um, I took a, kept a log of it cause you got to keep track. Like, you know, Vic. Victor's uh, program was very, very specific. Dude even added a, like an Excel spreadsheet. You know, you could track everything, you know, in all of the categories. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of people don't make it through 
that that 30 days um and he actually mentioned that in the in the actual program like hey you know you, you'll probably end up um failing because it's super super tough or some things you may um check off on the list but other things you might slip up on but you should still continue to go the 30 days because it's going to level you up and so um you know i remember um man especially being as we were so accustomed to you know looking at digital cheeks and digital bitties your 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 brain is like hardwired to oh my gosh i need that dopamine rush so for me that was like man like you know <laughs> i think like the first like five days i was like yo son like i was like a fiend like damn i gotta i gotta i gotta scratch i need a scratch <laughs> so you know you would uh you know maybe the five maybe 10 days i don't i i don't know because i I didn't finish a whole 30 days of all of the categories, correct, but I did, um, I got pretty far. I have to check the log again, because I still have those notes saved on my, my old old computers. Um, yeah, maybe I got like day 17 or 18 after I like caved, and then I started taking little peaks here and there. But even then, I didn't, you know, do the whole strokery action. Nah, I just was like, you know, peeking and whatnot. But I remember, after um those first like maybe like five or six days bro yeah i kid you not man my um my voice dropped down so deep to the point where i was like kind of like shook because i had to you know i'm still going to work right so i go into work and um i'm in a like little morning meeting and i got my like my manager everybody uh manager like uh, two co-workers two colleagues they're looking and they're like and i'm like you know i'm speaking to them but i'm like also like noticing like at the same time like dang like why am i speaking so deep like what the hell is going on you know i would come to realize like oh snap bro that was that testosterone that i've been um kind of like wasting away that's the testosterone that was coming back and being replenished and recycled into the system um and man that was you that was something you know i even remember and maybe it was that day well, one of them days of that week went outside walking just started having random women just asking me questions hey do you know how to get here hey do you know how to get there and i was like man like you know i mean don't get me wrong like i mean would ask questions but like it seemed like dang like why me you got this dude that's walking in my same direction too why not ask him but they come up to me so but that's a testament of testimony of what 30 days of holding in your seed through no nut november is gonna do for you my good guy because you're going to have the same you know if not the exact same similar effects to what I went through, you know, back when I was like 20, what was I like 20, 2017? Yeah, I was 27, 27 at the time. And so, um, yeah, I was like, dang, bro, like this is, this is something serious at 30 days of, uh, holding in and retaining that life force essence, my man, you are going to be a newly formed being. You're not going to recognize yourself at all you're gonna be like yo what the heck is going on man why are people treating me this way in a good way not a bad way but like why am i getting all of this extra stuff going on you know so that's what's gonna happen to you my dude like you know that's what's gonna happen and now you know that 30 days of discipline now now Vic, Vic, victor he that blog is gone you know r.i.p to the blog he took that down like back in like 2019 i think right um, but if you check out, um, I want to say like the Wayback Machine, it's like a website, right? You know, it archives like all of the different web pages throughout the decades. So you can go there and then type in like boldanddetermined.com because that was his blog, his, his previous blog, boldanddetermined.com. And you might see some of the old articles pop up from like, you know, and that blog has been out since like, I think he started that like back in like 2010, maybe 2010, 2011. Um, but yeah, you know, and hey, you know, um, some of those practices might be um, beneficial to you 
as we go into No Nut November, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. every day, you know, because that's going to lead into the next habit, which is, well, I'm up so early and I don't have to like maybe start work until like, you know, later in the day, naturally, I'm gonna hit the gym. Then you hit the gym, you know, get your 30 minute, one hour workout. And you're like, dang, I done hit the gym. So maybe I'll take a cool shower, a cold shower. Boom, dang, I done finished all of this stuff before the time of 9 a.m. Now I gotta work. And work, I'm just breezing by work. Dang, boom. And then it just builds, it just builds, and it just builds. And so, you know, my guys, my young dudes out there, y'all got this, man. Your brother DZ Level Up believes in you, you know? You know why I believe in you? because nobody believed in me per se and when when i was on on this path when i embarked on this journey nobody believed in me but i was able to shift drad dras dramatically and drastically shift my reality by incorporating a lot of those disciplines and then the rest is history so i believe in you you got this my dude we are what so today's october 11th so we have what that's 18 more days um about 18 19 more days until november 1st so hey yo man y'all fellas keep practicing i'm pumping out these videos daily to help you out anyway won't hold y'all fellas peace out it's your brother dz level up with another one and i'm gonna say one peace out my fams peace